This guide shows you how to install Windows 7 games on Windows 10. First of all, we need to find out if our system is a 32-bit or a 64-bit system. Most likely it's a 64-bit system, as most systems are. But to check this, we need to move our mouse down to the Start button. Click the right mouse button, that's the right mouse button. The menu should appear. Move your mouse up to System and then click the left mouse button, that's the left mouse button. You will see under System, just here System Type, and in my case here it says 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit operating system then it will say 32-bit operating system x86 based processor. We now need to close this window down, so left click on the cross at the top right hand corner of the window. <clears throat> Next thing we need to do is scroll down to uh, the uh, underneath this video and this will give us the links of where we can download the games from. So we might need to click the word show more. So we left click show more and as you can see here's the Windows 64 bit link to the version of the games and here's the 32 bit version. Now if your system said it was a Windows 64 bit system like my one we need to click on this link just here underneath Windows 64 bit version of games or if your version is a 32 bit version we need to click the link under 32 bit version. Well mine was a 64 bit version so I'm going to click the link just under 64-bit version. Left click that once and a message comes up saying Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. Well I know that it's not got viruses inside it. I have actually downloaded this and scanned it and not found any viruses so I'm going to click download anyway. Down the bottom of the screen here it starts to, to, to download. Now if you're using Internet Explorer it might ask do you want to run or save this file. I would click save. This bit might take a little bit of time, just depends on the speed of your internet connection, but it will tell you once it's done. OK, it's now downloaded. It's telling me the publisher of MS Games underscore Win8 underscore X8 X64 dot MSI could not be verified. Well, I know it's a trusted file, so I'm going to click Run. Left click Run. It starts to install, so we get this window uh, come up here, this wizard. So we just click Next. Next again. I want to install all games, we might as well, so click Next again and then click next one more time. A, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your PC box now appears? Left click yes. The installation will now continue. This again may take a few minutes, just depends on the speed of your system. OK, it's now finished, so I left click on finish. I can now close the um, the Windows, uh, the Internet Explorer window down, or in, in my case, you know, if, if you're watching the video, don't close it down. We want to minimize it because otherwise it will stop this video. So uh, I'm going to click this button just here to minimize it. OK, and we should find now the MS Games is now in our start menu. So I'm going to left click once on the start button. Go to all apps. Scroll down and as you can see under G for games, if I click games, you can see there we've got all of the games that were under Windows 7. So let's just test one out. I'm going to click Solitaire. And up comes Solitaire, just as it was in Windows 7. And that's it.